Case are right behind me, some of the best players and coaches in the entire nation of college football as the Big Ten Media Football Days kicked off just this afternoon with Coach D'Antonio. He was the first one on the podium and he showed some Spartan pride as well. From the city of Chicago, go green. And then it was the players' turn to have some fun. They did a little photo shoot. Connor Cook, the Heisman candidate. Dishley Calhoun, who could be a Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. And the center, as he's going to anchor that offensive line this year, Jack Allen. All those players in attendance talking about their expectations for the upcoming season. They're ranked in the top six, number six in the nation in several polls this season. Wanting to take that next step to become a national champion and further implementing the program as the best in the nation. you got to critique what you do, look for... Uh why you succeeded, why you, uh, why you failed in certain situations, and build on it. Uh, ever since I've been at Michigan State, people overlooked us, but that's just you know motivation for us. You know, it's another reason why we have a chip on our shoulder. Uh, another reason why you know we come, we come to work every day to, to earn the jersey is what, what our motto is to, to come out and prove to everyone why we deserve to be you know in the conversation of, of um, you know the top five teams, top ten teams, whatever it is. While Michigan State is in the headlines because of their prominence on the football field, the University of Michigan who goes later on tomorrow, well, Jim Harbaugh will most likely be the main story coming out of media days and for most of the season in his first season at the helm at the University of Michigan. So we'll definitely hear from him tomorrow. Reporting from McCormick Place here in Chicago, I'm Tom Eschen.